I hated it by the end. I'm very happy to have this out of my life. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I obviously come to you fully not ready for the day. I'm like in my pajamas. My hair is doing whatever my hair is doing. I might just throw it off now. It's been a week or two or a quarter. <laughs> this weekend is going to be all about self-care, self-love, recharging my own personal life battery because I've had quite a lot of things in the evenings this week that have also been work related. So just, just getting some time for me, which ultimately is the most important thing. Obviously Alex is involved. He kind of counts as me at this point, let's face it. So this morning in about half an hour, I'm heading off for a haircut. I am getting my fringe cut back in and going just a little bit shorter, like kind of this-ish then. Me and a friend from work are going tonight to see Self Esteem at the event in Apollo and I'm so excited. So we're gonna meet up before for some food and a drink or two and then we're gonna go head out and it's gonna be so good. The flat is like, it's clean. There's just lots of stuff out. When I get really, really busy and I haven't like, been home before like 10 p.m. for ages. I just end up jumping stuff around the flat as I like come home. So like I've got clothes everywhere. <laughs> I feel really bad, I feel like Alex, I'm usually really tidy, right? But at the moment I work, I just, yeah. This is the clothes that were in the bathroom. So I'm gonna take those towards the bedroom and let's put some stuff away. But I hope you're okay. I hope life is treating you all right. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe and let's roll on another vlog. Right. I mean, I don't know why I'm complaining. I'm desperate for have to have sunny. Oh my god, I actually can't think. It's too bright. So I've got ready. I am obviously. This is like a really quick throw on face of makeup. I'm gonna get like properly ready for it later. And like, I don't know what my fringe is doing today, but that's probably like a good time to go to the hairdressers so that she can fix it. I think I might grab a little bit of food on the way to the hairdressers. It's 20 to 11. I haven't yet eaten. So get ready with me. <laughs> god, I look rough. <laughs> I'm wearing green, so I'm gonna have green eyes. Which I feel like the last time I went to a concert with the person I'm going to this concert with, I also had a smoky green eye. So she must, might probably think I've got an issue. So, first things first, gonna use my Pixi Toxify Depuffing Eye Pads. Not only are they gonna provide great skincare benefits, but they're also gonna catch all the eyeshadow. So, first things first, I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me concealer serum for the black shadow i'm going to use my vive the essential palette i'm going to use the black that's in here it's called good night and then i'm going to use buff which is this kind of brown shade to kind of blend it into the crease and this is kind of where i start for my black kind of green smoky eye this is such a lovely black eyeshadow like look at that I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and take buff and use that to blend the black into my crease. I'm also going to take a little bit of lava rock just because it's not quite so warm so that then the crease is a little bit more neutral than it is, kind of super, super warm. So obviously it needs tidying up underneath, but now we have a really solid base down. It's time to make it green. So I'm gonna use my favorite green eyeshadow palette, which is the Charlie Betty Beauty Pressed Pigment, uh, what's this called, the Earth Palette. I mean, look at those greens. I'm gonna use this shade here in particular, which is the shade Ivy. And I'm gonna put this over the top of the black. Oh, I mean, look at that. I feel like the black with just the green over the top is, so pretty. So I'm gonna take off these little pads. Also ignore the like burn that's now forming on my forehead. It's my curlers. So I'm gonna take off these little, whatchamacallit, and then tidy up the edges of this black. I will be right back. So I want my foundation to stay all day. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. 
And then I'm also going to use some of the Anika Radiant Glow Veil so that while my makeup is probably going to look quite heavy, I want it to also look quite glowy. So a bit of this does wonders. I want a full coverage foundation that's going to last all day. So I'm going to use the KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation. Yours? Done. Can you open the door and we come do it in a minute? But then as this foundation, as you can probably tell, is a little bit dark, I'm going to basically anti-contour with the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I'm going to apply some cream blush with the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blusher in the shade Melon Sorbet. And now I'm going to powder down with the RCMA No Colour Powder. A quick little spritz of my Scent Lux Setting Spray. Going to bronze with the NARS Laguna bronzer. And then blush with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic blush. Gonna highlight with the Vive Bijou highlighter. Another spritz of setting spray. Onto my brows with the Refi brow pencil. And then set those in place with the Gosh Brow Lift Lamination Gel. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take Lava Rock, which is this kind of cool toned brown shade below, and use this kind of on my lower lash line. I'm going to take Glimmer and highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. And then last things last, I'm going to use one of the We Makeup Ever Liquid Lipsticks in the shade 16. And there you have it, a glam look. I'm gonna go get dressed and I will check in with you guys later. Not only have I got a haircut and my hair is significantly shorter, the fringe is a bit too short. I'm really not sure I like it. It's gonna grow out for him, so. I am all ready to go to self-esteem. I filmed my get ready with me, but for vertical content. So I'll try and like pop it in some way, shape or form. But I am now ready to go to Hammersmith. This dress, I haven't actually worn yet. It's from Hollister and it's like so, so comfy. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm honestly in my Hollister era. I'm so excited. We're going to Bill's before to have food and have some cocktails and then we're gonna go and have the best time. I'm actually buzzing. I've waited. We bought these tickets like six months ago and I've been waiting for this since I saw her last July. Buzzing. Sunday afternoon. Last night was amazing. Like self-esteem, sorry I'm readjusting you while I'm talking to you. Self-esteem was honestly obsessed. I mean I saw her last year when she was performing at a festival so I have seen her perform before but to like see a set that she clearly has like complete artistic control over which you obviously don't quite necessarily have at a festival it was stunning had a real nightmare getting home was at the hammersmith apollo and the hammersmith has both the district line let me charge so hammersmith has both the district line and the piccadilly line that take me home i got on the district line and then the train got cancelled so i had to get off the district line then i got on the piccadilly line to change for the jubilee line but then the jubilee line was operating with severe delays and it took me 15 minutes to get on a jubilee line and then when i got to canary wharf i got there so late because of all these delays i missed the last dlr train so i had to walk home from canary wharf which is about a 50 minute walk at two o'clock in the morning. So I've done like 6,000 steps a day, which is like a solid start to a Sunday, but I've got a blister on the bottom of my foot because I was not wearing shoes designed to walk in for like an hour. And uh, I'm very, very tired. I also bought a piece of merch because I 
I'm one of those kind of people. Moody for life. It's actually not as oversized as it looked when she held it up in front of me. So it's actually quite fitted, but that's not necessarily a problem because I already have like oversized white shirts. So it kind of fits a gap that some of the other ones don't. But yeah, I had honestly the best time. It's now Sunday, you can probably hear from my voice that I've lost some of my voice from screaming at the top of my lungs last night. I also didn't wake up until like midday, but I'm now gonna go have some lunch. <laughs> I feel like with every one of these little vlogs I have with you, we check in on Project 10 Pants so I can keep you updated on how I'm getting on. Actually thoroughly enjoying it. It's not only making me, it's like gamifying makeup and I'm quite competitive and I'm more competitive myself than probably anyone else. And so it's it's like I've challenged myself to do something and therefore I want to do it. That's how my brain works. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. I finished two more products, which is very exciting. And they're two products that I actually really learned to hate for two different reasons, but I really, I was so pleased that I finished them because now I've replaced some products that I actually genuinely love. That was the only problem that I kind of was getting myself into. Everything else that's in there now, I love. I hated these two so much and the first one was the Illamasqua Hydra setting spray this used to leave like you know when you spray setting spray on and it leaves like big dollops of setting spray and then you have to like blend them in and then when you blend them in it lifts the makeup on it yeah it just I was not a fan should we just say not a fan so that's now replaced with the scent Lux setting spray actually a big fan the the difference between these two products is like night and day. This is like a super fine mist. I have never experienced this kind of like having like big balls of setting spray that need blending in. And when you spray it on your face, it has all the benefits that this one does have in the fact that like your powders and your makeup like just melts into your face and it helps your makeup. I wouldn't say this is like as, as good at long lasting and longevity as like other setting sprays, but it does make your makeup look really, really good. But you notice the mist difference between these two products almost instantly. So yeah, I'm very much loving having this in my life rather than the other one. And then the other product I finished up, which I'm pretty sure I've been telling you this for a little while, is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. I think there probably is like a lack, like, probably could fight with it and get some more product out, I'm sure. But it was like, you know, in like, you're putting concealer on your face and the doe foot is like so dry that it's actually not really getting any product out <laughs> that's what this is getting to but i really the more i use this the more i hated it it's a super full coverage concealer tick but it clings to every single dry patch crease like you know you've got like that face like fluff or fuzz clings to that and it made it just made everything look really bad i i don't know if it's my skin type i don't know if i've got my skin slightly too dry for it but i hated it by the end i'm very happy to have this out of my life and i replaced it with something that's very very different and it's the nyx bear with me concealer serum this is literally like night and day this is like a really thick heavy duty concealer and then this is like i mean it says it in the kind of the name it's called a serum and this is a really light watery concealer but they still both have like similar levels of coverage this i'm actually a really really big fan of i'm really enjoying it i'm enjoying having this in my life and it makes a nice change <laughs> and then talking about all the other products that have been in project 10 pan since our last update i believe got some of the original ones i've got the fenty beauty primer which is like <sighs> painfully close to being finished. Ditto with the Laritzi cream contour stick, also painfully finished. It's now getting to the point where the bit of plastic occasionally like scratches my face. And then the other kind of original product is the, was this original? No, this was a new one. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which is, has some pretty solid progress in it. So, and then the other new 
products are in there. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, which is getting very, very thin on the ground. RCMA, the original no color powder, which is like a pathetic amount left now. And then I've got the Soeva Infinite Potential Mascara. This is like a never ending mascara. It honestly just, it keeps going. It's got really, really good volume. The, the brush is freaking huge. So it's a little bit messy, but it's a really nice mascara and it doesn't like a flake throughout the day. I haven't really been using it very much. I probably should get back into it, but it's the Makeup by Mario liquid liner. And then my non-makeup product, 10 pound product, is obviously my Pixi Detoxify Eye Patches. I've used two pairs of these, I think, since it's been in here. So it's it's some slow progress. I mean, how often do you, on the regular, put on eye patches? Probably not so much. So I'm probably using them about once a week, which is more than I was using them before. So still positive movement. That is my Project 10 pound update. They still live almost perfectly in this little container so if I put them back in again isn't that fun so yeah that just lives on my desk and these two things can go in my empties so yeah I'm gonna finish watching some YouTube videos and I also really need to like import the real footage and edit the reels but I'm just avoiding it and that's a really bad thing to do but it's currently what's happened so I need to go do that as well and I mean it's already four o'clock on Sunday and let's face it I'm not really gonna do anything productive I've not left the house since I arrived home last night at 2 30 in the morning I'm still really tired 